what's going on everybody so in today's video we're gonna be talking about a topic an age-old topic but I got more stuff I want to add to a to this topic that I've talked about in the past now this topic is gonna be pretty much going over five reasons why y'all ass can't win a Yu-Gi-Oh locals or just why you're just not improving at Yu-Gi-Oh in general now I've talked about this in the past before but I wanted to elaborate on some things you know it's a new year well it's not 2020 yeah but it's still 2019 and I just wanted to go over some different things because I feel like these tips could help you guys out. And because maybe a lot of times people, when they think they're trying to improve, but they're not improved. So, yeah, I made a video for you. I got the wine. We pouring it up and we're doing it right. So, with all that being said, let's get into it. Without further ado, let's begin. Ice on my wrist, looking kind of cool. Bad bitch with me, she ain't trying to move. Niggas staring at me, what you trying to do? Got me looking at my watch, and it's time to do. Starting off with number five. The reason why y'all ain't winning at Yu-Gi-Oh! Or winning at Locals, that is. Cheers. Yes, that's right. You guys are getting fucking cheated. Like, I can't tell you. The amount of time I go to Locals, and I see people just cheating. Drawing extra cards. Um, dropping cards on the floor and pinning it back up in their hand. Searching their deck, stacking in the middle of a game. You'll be surprised the amount of people that want to win a Locals that bad. I mean, you would think it's a Locals, it's for testing, it's for fun, and people wouldn't take Locals that serious. However, it's 2019, for whatever reason, people want that clout. A lot of people didn't play Yu-Gi-Oh! back in the day. When we're all 12 before there was a social media thing before you can just get a deck list offline you had to actually look that shit up on pojo and write it down with your pen and paper like people didn't grow up in that era like a lot of these new school cats they just they want that victory so bad they do what it takes even at a local level so that way it can practice that stuff when they go to regionals and ycs so yeah man cheaters is one of the biggest reasons people lose in general and they are very prevalent at locals number four you don't take the game serious enough you gotta sip for that one. Cause I'm when I'm at locals and I'm actually taking the game serious. People looking at me like, damn, he's super serious in this game right now. It ain't that serious, it's just locals. And I always tell people, yeah, it's just locals. I wanna win. Now, when I want when I say I wanna win personally, I don't wanna win to the point where I'm gonna cheat, play unfair, act an asshole, or even rule shark. But at the same time, if you're focused in your game, you attentive, you try to make sure you don't make mistakes. I have like laser focused vision sometimes and I'm, and I'm naturally like an introvert instead of being an extrovert like talking to, I don't need people's energy to pump me up I pump myself up and then not to mention as well I'm personally the type of person that when I'm focused on a goal I have to hit that goal no matter what so being focused taking it serious is gonna get you guys 10 times forward now I know a lot of you guys you guys go to locals with your friends, you're playing, you play testing, you're having fun. And granted, having fun is what it's all about. You gotta have fun. You know, this is a game at the end of the day. But if you guys wanna be competitive, you guys have to take the game serious. There's nothing wrong with saying, you know, I put on my game face today, I'm gonna go to locals, I'm gonna win this bitch. There's nothing wrong with getting mad and saying, like, fuck, I lost, man. I could have made this misplay. There's nothing wrong with that. There's nothing wrong with people talking to you at locals while you're playing in the middle of your game. And you just like, okay, give me a second. I mean, I'm just trying to focus. Just give me a damn second. Like, there's nothing wrong with that, guys, man. So, and this wine is good, especially after you eat like some some beef. Wine and beef is amazing. But yeah, <laughs> but yeah, man. Anytime you guys um, you know, take things seriously, your results will happen. So number four, you know, if you gotta take it seriously, you guys will prevail. Number three, you net deck too much. Now this is gonna be controversial because a lot of people say, Chris, net decking is good, net decking is amazing, everyone net deck, you net deck. True, however, me personally, when I find a deck I wanna play, I don't copy someone else's deck list card for card. I may look at a deck list for ideas to see the combos on why they ran certain things, but I'd be damned if I'm gonna go ahead and copy somebody else's idea card for card not knowing why they played that specific card because i'm a sole believer that if you do that even if you come up to the same conclusion they came up with you you're gonna miss something so let's say if i copy someone's deck list right 
and I copy a card for card, and I'm learning the basic combos. What about the intricacies when you draw bad? What about the intricacies when your opponent is outplaying you? What about the intricacies when they just blow past your ultimate combo? What do you do then? See, when you actually build your deck to the max, and let's say, for example, you do get to the conclusion like a YCS winner got with certain card choices, you understand the road it took to get there, it's just going to be at a lower rate because don't get the shit twisted, guys. The people who actually make the good deck list, they play test a lot. Like I tell people, me personally, if I'm if I was actually taking card games as serious as I used to be, like if I had a team and everything, it'd be 20 to 30 hours a week minimum play testing, whether it was online or in person. I prefer in person because you can um, get the bluff factoring involved, like you guys, you know, bluffing each other in person. However, you know versus not doing it all because some people just do 10 hours and i'm pretty sure a lot of pros don't play test that much however i'm just i just like to overdo things if you get better but regardless the, the people who actually top a lot they play test is that so much they come to the conclusion because they have people to bounce ideas off of so if you're a person like me who you don't have no one to bounce ideas off of you're gonna need that extra play test and you're gonna need to build a deck from scratch if you see a deck like heroes or Solomon Greats, look at my deck look at someone else's deck take the ideas but come to your same conclusion at the end of the day. Now, I might see a hero deck and I might trash and say, I don't like this list. What the bam? But if it works for that person, it works for that person. I might be able to learn something from that person. So never be afraid to try your own ideas, man, because net decking ain't always going to get you that victory. Number two, you guys are distracted. Now, what do I mean by distracted? Distracted meaning like not by people on locals, not people around you, but you're distracted up here. Your mind is not focused on the game. Now I can, I can, if you can kind of combine that with you not taking the game serious enough, but not necessarily because me personally, like for my, I'm gonna be real with y'all right now. I've been going through some shit in my personal life for the past two years now. A little bit of like a quarter life crisis, slight depression. I'm getting better, you know. I've got the proper therapy for that shit. And I've gotten a lot better, which is why you guys probably seen the quality in my channel drop, but I'm trying to get that shit back up. So, you know, when you're distracted like that, whether if you're pissed off, depressed, stressed, can't focus, it's always good to take a break, man. Don't be afraid to take a break. But at the same time, you have to come back to it if you guys want to be successful. And you guys also have to see what is causing distress in your life to begin with. What is causing you to be distracted to begin with? Is it a girlfriend? Is it money issues? Is it a living situation? All of those things can get true to that. So yeah, man, when you guys figure that out, make sure you get that shit figured out. Wrap it in the book, come back to the game, and you guys will do a lot better. Ultimately, at the end of the day, the game takes my mind off my personal life. However, I'll be lying if I say my personal life didn't distract me from playing the game. And the last thing I'm gonna talk about for why you guys hang top of locals, why you guys aren't improving in Yu-Gi-Oh! It's just, you simply just don't listen. Yeah, Yu-Gi-Oh! players don't listen. Not all Yu-Gi-Oh! players, of course. People who net deck, they listen to a T, they try things out. However, some people just think they know it all. And you guys are gonna see this in your real life outside of Yu-Gi-Oh! You tell somebody to do X, Y, Z to be successful, they don't take your advice, they don't listen, Five years go down the line, damn, I should have listened to that person. Damn, I should have did this. Damn, I should have did that. And they regret it. Now, how can you guys start listening better? Well, simple. It's very simple, guys. You have to learn how to learn. That's right, learn how to learn. If I can't translate the information to you properly, find another channel that can translate the information for you properly. If your buddy can't break down why you should play a specific tech card, ask someone else to break down why you can play a specific tech card. If someone like Billy Brick is telling you the way to be a YCS champion is doing X, Y, Z, and you want to cut, and you want to cut out y, skip, want to cut out Y and go straight from X to Z without doing the groundwork in the middle, you're not going to be successful, guys. And I'm telling you, this is just from real life experience to non real life to my car game experience. People do not listen when you try to help them, and people do not listen when players get them advice. Because some people just feel like they know it all. Like, I've seen people at locals like, nah, I know how to play this thing. I know what I'm doing. And then you try to walk them through a combo, 
they'll make every little excuse how they didn't play error. Like, bro, you play error because you didn't play this card this time. I didn't play error because I already did this. And you're like, no, what? I'm done. <laughs> I'm done. Keep losing, bro. Keep losing. I'm done. So, yeah, man. You guys have to listen better, man. And listening better comes from just admitting when you're wrong, admitting that you need the help, and like I said, learn how to learn. I didn't personally learn how to learn until I was in college, as crazy as that sounds. Because I was when I was younger growing up, personally, like I've always got mediocre grades, like D's, C's, and F's. In high school, it was the same thing. But college, it was like the catalyst for me to actually learn how to I learn. And how I learn is I'm more of a hands-on person. I can see things, I focus on it, and I can just kill it, like, quick. But I ne never had no one to guide me through that as a child. So I feel like a lot of people, if I went through it, a lot of you guys maybe go through the same thing. So tell me what you guys think, man. Um, post your thoughts and opinions about this video in the comment section down below. Um, if you guys think you have an issue with winning at Yu-Gi-Oh! Locals or just Yu-Gi-Oh! in general, let me know. I'm willing to give you guys advice in the comment section down below as well. And also, man, I'm having issues making video ideas. I'm going to be real with you guys. So if you guys have any video ideas for future videos, if you guys like me doing my top five, top ten list, let me know. I haven't done a countdown video in a while. And it's actually kind of, was kind of refreshing doing one, despite it being 12.49 a.m. at night where I'm at. So, with all that being said, once again, this is the Rogue Hero, sipping his wine on this late night, fresh out of the gym. And I'm signing out, man. Peace, stay innovative. Deuces.